Hello, I just want to do a, a quick review and demonstration of our uh, Anders Nicholson uh, Nostalgia Record Player. This is the one that has the turntable up top, uh, the obvious part of it, and then it also has a CD player, a radio, and over here on the side has a cassette player. Now, I haven't used the cassette player. Um, I don't even know if I have any cassettes anymore. No desire to use them. We've used a CD player a couple times. It works well but mainly we use it for the radio function and the turntable. Uh, the cool thing about the records is you can go to any thrift store and if you want to take the time to go you know, search through a few of them, you're going to find most of the records you'd want for like 50 cents. Um, I mean, I've paid from $1.50 to 50 cents, but it's, uh, it hasn't been a, a huge uh, investment on the record part. Um, Paid just a little over a hundred dollars for for the player itself. Uh, now I'm no musician and um, I, I'm not too picky on music quality, but I personally think it sounds good. We can go with the radio, and you can hear that. So that works well. Um, we can get all the channels I can get in my car or any other radio I have uh, here, and I live way out in the country, so um, that seems to work well. Uh, like I said, the CD player works well, and then up here we can uh, we can see the actual turntable. that started here. taste of uh, how it sounds. I think it sounds fine. It, um, it'll play through. It does have an auto return feature on the needle arm. However, it only works if the um, record you have successfully will guide the needle to the center of the record. If it doesn't go all the way to the center, it'll just keep spinning on it and give you that you know crackly white noise um, until you go manually put it back. So I'd say about half of our records do manage to get it to manually return, half of them don't. Generally just depends on how big that sticker is in the middle. Uh, it closes up to kind of protect everything and give you a flat surface. You can set things on and uh, a little more visually pleasing when it's just sitting there. Um, it's uh, it's been trouble-free for us for over a year now. Uh, we use it fairly consistently, like I said, mostly for the radio and the turntable. And uh, it does have a little bit of a table wobble, which is something I read in the reviews, but it has not affected um, play quality or operation or anything. It's still working great. Uh, none of the other issues that I read as normal issues in the reviews have been an issue with ours. Um, I've read bad things about sound quality, but then there's always picky people who are going to uh, to be snobbish, I guess, about those things. Like I said, I'm a pretty average listener. If you're fairly average, I'm sure the sound quality from this and something that's considered really high quality isn't going to gonna be much of a noticeable difference for you. And for the price difference, you know, this is, I think, a very visually pleasing, uh, you know, I really like the aesthetics of it. And um, it's very, uh, very good sound quality for, for my taste. Um, I really like the old vintage vinyl stuff, and it's fun to just go to the, the thrift stores and, and search through and find the records you want. And like I said, it's, it's a pretty cheap, uh, cheap endeavor to go on. So if you're interested in it, I highly recommend it. Uh, my wife and I have really enjoyed it. Um, so I would say that... Uh, that, you know, most people would as well. Uh, so, hopefully.
hopefully this helps you uh, make a decision if you're looking at uh, purchasing one of these. Have a good day.